Hi Capricorn, welcome to your snapshot of 2021. Hopefully everyone's doing well. Um, so we're just going to look at the highlights. And of course, if you want more detail, you want to delve deeper into anything, uh, forecasts are running as specials. Hierophant flipped over. So you might be thinking of commitments in 2021. Um, the Sun, the Strength card, Leo might be important. Also, test of strength or test of willpower. Okay, so I guess we're starting. Um, I think you know, all the information I'm trying to talk about is in the description box below, so have a look at that. Um, Capricorn 2021. I'm seeing the chariot, the high priestess. Okay. Four of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Judgment, Queen of Wands, the Tower. I saw that as I was shuffling. Four of Wands, Justice, the Hierophant. We saw that, didn't we? Five of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and the Hermit. Okay, Capricorn, bottom of the deck, the Fool. It's time for a change. It's time for a change. It's time to do what you want to do, but you have to commit to that. Because the energy that I'm feeling is you know what you want, you get started with it, it doesn't turn out exactly the way you want it, and you just drop it, or you just leave it alone, or it just gets you frustrated. And you're, prefer or you're a perfectionist by nature, so that makes sense. But what the cards are saying, what the energy is saying, is that you might need to tweak that approach, because there's a way for you to have everything that you want. You might just need to be a little bit flexible on how you get there. Okay, um, and that is a, a very big change in attitude and perspective because when we're used to doing something and we've been doing that our whole lives, you know, the thought of hold on, actually, why don't you try this and you might get better results, we might say, you know what, no thanks, I'm happy with how things are going, whether or not it always turns out the way I want. That's just how I want to do things, you know? Um, and this is saying, with a little bit of a tweak, you could get everything that you want. The way you want it, or even more. Because I feel like that's why they're bringing this up. What you want, and it needs to be just so, and it needs to be exactly that, is actually less than what you really deserve. So you're actually holding yourself back and that's why things aren't coming together for you because you deserve better. Does that make sense? You're trying to manifest something that is not for you. Something bigger and better is for you. But because you're trying to manifest on this level, it's just not coming together because this isn't for you. This is for you. Okay? Very nice and very interesting. January, Four of Cups. You're not happy, but you're not really... You can't really put your finger on why you're not happy. It's just... You're bored. You feel like things need to change, but you're not quite sure how much you want to put into that. Um, how how what would that entail? Because again, you're not that big of a fan of change, and you're going back and forth with yourself. No, I'm not happy. Things need to change. But then when you start thinking about everything that would need to change, you're like, but is it really that bad? Okay, so it's that kind of energy. That's the energy of the Four of Cups. Okay, Seven of Pentacles in February. This is a time of really getting down to the bottom of things, okay? This is a practical attitude. You're coming out of your emotions and you're saying, you know what? Okay, fine. If I did want to make a change, what would be involved? And this is just putting it down on paper. This is making it real and making it concrete, okay? What would need to change? I've been doing this and this and this. I've invested this and this and this and this kind of way of being in this thing, situation, person. I'm not happy with the results. So, okay, what can I change? What can I tweak? When do I need to take back and put it someplace else? Okay, so it's a very practical approach. It's a time of assessment and being honest with yourself, okay? 
in March. Tan -da -da -da. Ask and you shall receive judgment. This is that epiphany. This is that realization. This is that, okay, I know what's been holding me back. It's that particular way of thinking. It's that particular thought alone. It's that particular attitude that actually I'm not thrilled with either. But I didn't think you'd had that big of an impact in my life. And now I see that actually really does. So with the judgment card, this is deep realization, this is epiphany, and it's information that you cannot unsee or unhear. It is, by the time this information reaches you, change has already happened, okay? So it's that kind of energy. In April, Queen of Wands, look at you. You're embodying the traits of a fire sign. You might have fire in your chart as well, but this is saying, okay, this is the new me. Not taking BS, not taking excuses, I want what I want, I want to do, I want to create, I'm inspired, I want to start my business, and I'm not going to hold myself back. I don't care that much about what other people are going to say, about what other people are doing. I'm going to focus on what I want to do and see where that gets me, because I haven't tried that before, okay? Fire is the element of fire wands is is new energy it's fresh it's 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 exciting it's something we don't know that we haven't tried before that we haven't done before it's experimenting okay as a result may time you have the tower now this is a complete change i hear a complete 180 this is a complete change of you know where you're trying to get from A to B, but just before you get to B, there's a block. And no matter what other way you try to get to B, you still end up in that block. And you just, you feel like there's no way around it. This is the breaking down of that block. This is the breaking down of why was I thinking that I needed to go this way to get there? I can go this way and there's no block. Okay, so the outside world is starting to match this realization on the inside with the judgment card. So this can be moving. This can be a complete different attitude when it comes to love. If you've been happy single and you're like, you know what, I'm ready for love again. I'm going to take a chance. This is a complete attitude to life maybe. Maybe you're less conservative, you like experimenting, you've done it and it works for you, you've tried it and you had so many different uh, experiences that you never thought you could have. So it's like, you know what, I'm going to keep doing that. But it's a complete change, it's a complete transformation. It's breaking down what is not working and it hasn't been working for a long time. And it's just creating something brand new that you're completely happy with. Next card, June, we have the Four of Wands. This is the happy home, happy marriage, happy relationship. This is promotion. This is advancement with career. This is new job, new relationship, moving in together, or just meeting someone that you see spending yourself the rest of your life with. This can also be reconciliation is what I'm feeling for some of you. As a result of this deep change within yourself, you're like, actually, you know what? That relationship was really good for me. It wasn't perfect the way I thought it needed to be perfect, but now I realize those things are not that important. Those things are actually irrelevant in the grander scheme of things. And what really matters is there. So I'm going to go back to that. Okay? So that's what I'm feeling with that. In July, we have the Justice card. So this is karma. This is um, balance. This is being in the right place at the right time with the right people, having the right conversations. Okay, July is going to be a very karmic month for you. Pay attention to sign or receiving. Pay attention to your dreams. Um, on a more practical level, this can be dealing with the legal system. This could be dealing with contracts, with paperwork, documentation, visas. Okay, and the justice card is, is karmic reward as well. So because you're doing all this work, this is you receiving karmic rewards. So whether it's that is in a legal sense type of way, or it's finally meeting the right person, or finally manifesting the job you wanted, or finally manifesting whatever, okay? This is saying, this is karma saying, I see you, I, I see that you've done the work, I see that you have received the messages and applied it, and I will reward you by giving you 
what you've always been trying to manifest, but you've been going around it the wrong way, okay? Or maybe a way that was more difficult than it needed to be. In August, we have the Hierophant. The Hierophant is, it can talk about commitment. It can talk about um, following the rules, responsibilities, obligations. It can be school, education, exams. Um, it can be interviews, particularly with some sort of a corporation or a big company. Um, I am seeing the Hierophant as rules, regulation, and tradition. It's followed by the Five of Cups. So August, September is, I feel, you will feel, this is a step back. Why? Because you have been trying this complete new way of life, this complete new attitude. You're completely happy with it. You're like, okay, this is what I'm doing. This is who I'm going to be. But then something that you're doing with something that you're doing, you have to conform to an old way of doing things. And so I feel like you're having this moment of crisis with the Five of Cups of what is the point? If I'm still going to be confronted with regulations and restrictions, what is the point of me going through this change? That will be a key moment, September. Okay, so I need you to pay attention to August, September, because the Five of Cups is saying it's not you don't have to throw it all away. It's about compromise. Yes, you've done all these things. Yes, you're a new person. Yes, you are different and everything's different around you and that's a beautiful thing. But you still are part of society. You still are part of a family. You still are part of a, a different group. And the group has rules, okay? Everything has rules. But that's not to say that it should completely stop you from being an individual. Okay, so it's one of them moments where before you would have quit or you would have said this, is, this isn't this is worth it, this isn't what I want, or this is ridiculous, I'm not going to do this, and walked away. So now you have the chance for change. This is a test. Are you going to react the same way as you did before? In which case you're going to repeat the cycle, or are you going to say, you know what, fine. I'm different, let me try a different approach to this than what I've done before, okay? And look, in October you have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is saying, you know what, fine, nice and easy, I'm, I'm going to keep going in this direction, I'll keep my eye on the rules and restrictions and what is expected or whatever, but I'm still going to go in the direction I want to go in. It's one of them where I'm going to work from within the system to get what I want. November, Three of Pentacles, more growth, development, recognition, promotion. You're setting an example. People are following your example. You're inspiring others because everyone's been hitting that block and quitting, okay? And you are showing them a different way of doing it. So this is a lot of recognition and reward and growth, financial growth and otherwise. It could also be a new group, a new circle of friends, a new circle of, of, of people you're part of, where you are very well received and recognized for the experience and the knowledge that you have, that you are now sharing with others. In December, you have the Hermit. You could be going into teaching. You could be going into coaching. You've started on a journey that not only transforms yourself, but you have the opportunity or the possibility to transform other people's lives as well. So you could be going into teaching or coaching of some kind. Or just, you know what, that could just be on a day-to-day -day level, a how-to video. doesn't have to be like you're in a school and presenting stuff, but you're sharing your knowledge and your wisdom and inspiring others. Okay? So that is really, really cool. Let me know how it makes sense to you, Capricorn, and how it applies. I hope that um, it helps, okay? But you have the opportunity for beautiful transformation, and not only that, 
but for the you have the opportunity to see yourself as the co-creator that you are. It's not completely solely up to you to do everything. You can allow the universe to guide you or you can kind of work together with the energy as opposed to against it or trying to ignore it. And you can learn how to adapt and keep going in the direction that actually you want to go in. Okay, it's about learning to work with what you have. No, it's not perfect, but you can make it work and you can get what you want out of it. Okay, and that's a, that's a beautiful thing. That's very a very freeing way of uh, experiencing things. So I hope this helps. Remember to watch your signs, your other signs, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.